the big win last night and then the, the comeback win today. Are you exercising all the demons of this place in one series? This place, uh, <clears throat> I don't think it has any effect on any of our players or any of our staff or anyone at all, to be honest with you. And regardless of winning or losing the games, I mean that. Uh, but this was a tremendous character win for a team. Um, you know, you come in here and uh, you know, the first two hitters of the game on their end <clears throat> had some good swings and they're up a couple of runs and the crowd gets loud. And that's what happens when you come to uh, any, big any big city stadium. From that moment on, our guys just grinded out every inning, every at bat, every pitch, uh, did everything we could to stay in the game. Um, they brought in a guy who was, uh, you know, he's generally a, he's an excellent reliever. He's a lockdown guy, especially to face a bunch of righties. Um, that's what he does as good as anyone. And we went out there and uh, made him work and then eventually got a big hit and uh, and made it happen. So that was a, you know, big at bats by all those guys from Michael A. Taylor to, to, to you know, Car uh, Buck and, and Carlos and uh, and all these guys. That's how you have to do it sometimes. And, um, but it's not easy to do. And I was really impressed with what I saw. But Louis Varlin, awesome. The bullpen, awesome. Like that's, uh, you look up and you go, uh, you know, you need, you need guys to have big efforts. You don't, you don't come in and, and beat a good team and win a game like that <clears throat> by just playing okay, by making most of the plays, by having decent at bats. You got to do something. You have to make something happen, and our guys are making it happen right now. <clears throat> With Louis, when he pitched here in September, he got that daytime crowd. He did not have this kind of crowd. Um, the job. What did you think of the job just to settle himself after as loud as it got? Unaffected by any of it. He he. <clears throat> He made a lot of good pitches throughout this game. He pitched good. He really did. And, uh, you know, I don't know how he did it. I'd love to hear how, what he says about it. But um, it's not. It's uh, it, it's a challenging lineup. They got they got a good team out there right now. They got one of the best hitters in the game. Uh, the ball is flying a little bit in the stadium right now. So it adds a little bit of a different feel to all these games, last night and today. Um, if you hit a ball on the barrel up in the air, it stands a decent chance of going out of the ballpark. Um, so you might end up even attacking a few of these guys a little bit differently because of it. But no matter what he did, you know, however it worked, um, he competed so well. And he, and he stayed very mentally tough uh, to get to that point in the game where he gave us, you know, six good innings. And uh, then we let these EP. That's a, that's a big inning to go out there and uh, pitch really well. Jorge Lopez looked nasty. Um, and then Duran comes in, gets the big ground ball, and, uh, you know, then the final out. So the guys did, they did their jobs, and they did them well. Do you think this is the type of environment that Carlos likes playing in and kind of thrives in? Well, I looked up on the screen, <clears throat> I don't know what day it was, and it said he was like sixth all-time in postseason RBIs at the age that he is. I think he likes big games, and I think he likes the spotlight, and I think he likes it when... Uh, you know, the stands are full, and he can show everyone what he can do in the biggest moments. And that, I mean, that's a ridiculously impressive at-bat that he had today to, uh, uh, you know, hit a ball like that against the guy he's facing, uh, where he was in the count, what he saw previously in the at-bat. Just incredibly impressive. Lopez, the matchup that you liked and had in mind for that uh, Judge Rizzo-Stanton stretch there? I, I mean... I talked to Pete about the matchups during the game um, always. Uh, those are good hitters. So, you know, you're looking at it, and um, when you look at a run of hitters, normally you're not going to have, you know, just one guy that is, you know, simply the best matchup against this run of hitters. They set the lineup, so that's not the case. You know, they, they intentionally make that difficult. But we did like the matchup, and <clears throat> he went out there, and my God, he looks so sharp that, you know, you really you trust him to go out there and really get anyone out right now. But yeah, we, we like that uh, that spot for him. You know, we also consider he's pitched maybe a tick less than Jax as well. So there are going to be times when it's close. We're going to throw the guy out there that's fresher, um, even if it's you know a kind of a maybe not even, but somewhere in the same vicinity. So all of that was going in his favor today for that run, and with the fact that he's pitched just a tick less, he looked really good out there.